Hello, and this is our episode of Pizza Equipment Pros in Our Kitchen. My name is David Berger, and today we're going to be talking about the new Friol Company Divider Rounder Model 48700. This newly designed machine has taken some of the tips and pointers you wanted based off of our older model 44700. Those new features include a front discharge, removal of the knife motor and gearbox from the cutting department, front loading. We also have integrated a larger hopper of 48 kilograms or almost 106 pounds of dough. This means you'll be able to take a 50 pound bag of flour and hydrate it as much as 60% and that batch will fit by itself inside the hopper. We've also changed the knife design so that it can be put onto the machine only one way. And it, lastly, we've centered the rounder so that the unit is actually narrower and counter depth. Each part, the divider and the rounder are now mounted on stainless steel legs with locking casters. We've included a stainless steel work table that can be folded away during non-use. The unit has larger motors for those heavy, high-protein, high-gluten doughs that are typically made in artisan pizzerias, as well as large capacity 24-ounce dough balls. The system plugs into a 120 volt standard circuit. We prefer it be a dedicated circuit of 20 amps. The divider is capable of dividing dough balls as small as two ounces and as large as 23 ounces and the rounder by itself will run two ounces up to 42 ounces. The machine delivers with two cones. A large cone, which would be used for your 16 to 23 ounce dough balls. A Delrin insert, which is used for your medium sized dough balls, eight to 16 ounces. We additionally have a variable adjustable cone that will be best suited for two ounces to eight ounces and that would be an option. The machine is capable of between two and three thousand dough balls per hour depending on the size and weight of your dough. We talked about the adjustable cone and the adjustable cone again is used for sizes two ounces to eight ounces. It attaches to the lever on the top of the outside of the machine with this connecting pin and it is designed to be adjusted to run larger dough balls and then tightened to extrude smaller as low as two ounce dough balls. This is an option that's available for those people wishing to do dinner rolls and small roll of uh, small balls of dough. I'll start the machine and show you how the three interlocks work to protect you, the operator, from any danger in the machine. I will start the machine, first starting the rounder, and secondly starting the divider. We now have a photo eye instead of the trip paddle, which gives us much more accuracy. The photo eye shines from down here up across to a reflective strip. This gives you much more precise cuts and weights. I'm going to move the photo eye so that it's blocked by the cone and you can see now how the machine cycles. The cradle is mounted for larger pieces of dough so that in the event your dough is wet and wants to drop or sag, it will help support that dough as it's extruded, giving you better accuracy. We talked about the interlocks, so I'm going to show how those work. The first interlock I'm going to show you 
is here on the front door. When the door is open during production, the machine will turn off. I'll start the machine again and show you the lid safety switch. The machine is operating by opening the lid, the machine will also shut off. Another option that's available is the remote control to operate the rounder outside of the divider rounder system. This gives you the on-off control and the stop control to run the rounder solo. For those operators wishing to do larger size dough balls up to the 42 ounce maximum size, let's say a 24 ounce dough ball, our recommendation is that you run very accurately measured 12 ounce dough balls through the rounder a first time and then take two of those dough balls giving you a very accurate 24 ounce dough ball and run them through the rounder the second time. This will give you a very tight dough ball and we can do this up to the 42 ounce limit of the rounder. So I'm going to stop the film for a moment. I'm going to extract the rounder and show you how this installs. To remove the rounder from below the divider, simply remove the two knobs holding the rounder frame in place. The rounder is on its own set of wheels. You'll then want to unplug the rounder from the back of the divider where it gets its power as a system. You'll then simply plug the modular end into the bottom of the remote control. The remote control can be placed wherever you feel it's best for you here on this bar is a good spot. Some people prefer the front, some people prefer the back. We just tighten the knobs to hold it in place. And at this point, we can now take two dough balls and put them together, or we can finish our first set a second time through the machine. We simply turn the machine on and drop our dough balls in the rounder and they make their way out the front. Should there be a reason to stop the machine in a hurry, you have the panic button. Again, the panic button turns one quarter turn to release. And this knob acts as your on and off. Effectively, you now have the ability to divide and round or round only with the new M48700 system by Friol. This has been a video produced by Pete's Equipment Pros. Feel free to come by our kitchen in California, one hour east of San Francisco, to demonstrate any of our fine products. Thank you for watching.